You know you like wine when you buy wine lipstick because it has the word wine. Oh, man. I have problems. Like usual, let's just roll with it because that is how I'm the best, I guess. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I want everything. All I want for Christmas is wine. I want wine, wine, lots of wine. <coughs> Merry Christmas and happy holidays from me to you. And if you're watching this with anyone, them too. Welcome to Danny on the Daily, my first ever Vlogmas. I had a great plan and it's probably not gonna work out, so without further ado, we're all adults here. It's afternoon. I have my favorite wine glass. Tis the season. Tis the season for wine. Tis always the season for wine. Why not? So the reason why I'm actually shooting this today, which is December, it is December 4th. I'm a little late on the start of Sorry, I just washed this. It's kind of still I'm a little late on vlogmas because I just haven't decorated my house yet This is really what I'm working with Festive pillows That's as far as I've gotten. Oh, yeah, I kind of started decorating My table too, but that is my favorite Bush before we get started. It is not Wine Wednesday. It is Sunday. It's afternoon. It's um, t technically 1.45 p.m. So I can have some wine. Quick intro to what we are gonna discuss today on this Vlogmas, the first one. And possibly the only one because it's gonna be a very busy week for me. I've had this beautiful, beautiful bottle of Antica, a 2013 Cabernet Sauvignon, sitting in my fridge. I have yet to get a wine fridge that's on my list. Maybe Santa will bring me one if I behave. It's been a rough year, so I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Here I am with no red wine in my fridge, but this beautiful bottle. Staring at me every morning, every night, staring at me every time I open my fridge. I did not want to open this bottle of wine. I promised my friend Roy, who sent me this awesome bottle of wine, that I would YouTube it. So here we are. I even have my Christmas stopper in it. Thank you, Roy, and thank you, Antonori family. I really hope I'm saying that right. This is a 2013 Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley called Antica, and this bottle actually has a retail value on their website at $60. This, you won't want something like this. Every wine that I'm gonna show you in this video didn't even equal $60. So I really like to save my expensive wine Ooh, when I'm not gonna drink it alone. Here we are, it's open. I don't want it to go bad before I go out of town. Um, a little bit about this wine from what I have uh, thought of it so far. I've only had, all right, there's about, if you can see, I don't know, two thirds of the bottle left, so. Thumbs up. This wine has a plum flavor. It is very rich. Okay. Oh God, the wolf is here. When it arrived, she was sleeping. I was trying to, trying to wait until she was sleeping. Here's what I'm dealing with. We got Reese sleeping in his bed. My Christmas tree is gonna go right here and my wolf. It is extremely, extremely delicious. Oh, by the way, <laughs> wine, wine lipstick. This lipstick is called Divine Wine Maybelline. It is uh, not animal cruelty free, so I do not recommend buying this lipstick because I really try to uh, shop brands that fight animal cruelty, but I was trying to do a makeup vlog, which is coming your way too with the help of a good friend of mine who is phenomenal at makeup, because I'm not. So I bought a bunch of wine colored lipsticks that actually have wine in the name. So Divine Wine, this is Divine Wine. Divine Wine, wine, lipstick. Wine, lipstick, wine, wine lipstick. Cheers. 
Merry Christmas. The blood is so good. If I was Santa Claus, I would request wine and rock cookie dough. Because that's how this, 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 this claws rolls. I literally have a problem. And I don't even care. That's so good. I have yet to get sick from eating rock cookie dough. And when I do, it's gonna wreck everything. Oh, thanks for joining us. Merry Christmas, Kona. That sheet's supposed to be on here, but all right, well, we're rolling. I love this glass. I actually got this glass from Pier One. Isn't it cute? It's actually the only Christmas wine glass that I have, and I just thought it was so big and so pretty, and I needed it. I went to Target for pretty much one bottle of wine. I walked out with six <laughs> and cookie dough. You no, know, so here we are on my couch in my wine lipstick. Clink. A few of these wines that I'm gonna show you are all by Pothic. And the reason why I love Apothic is that their basic winemaker's blend is the most solid under $10 bottle of wine I think you'll ever have. And I've never had a bad bottle of this. I turned an ex-boyfriend into a wine drinker from this bottle. So you don't have to be some classy person to drink wine which is why we're drinking wine on a budget. So, Apothic Red, Target, $8.99, $8.99. Gift it, re-gift it, keep it for yourself, because it is damn good. Moving on, wine number one, solid choice. Next bottle of wine, I'm gonna stick with Apothic to make it Flow. Apothic Crush. This bottle I actually recently just came across, and this is like the fourth bottle I've bought this season. Catch that. And this Apothic Crush is another smooth red blend. It really is smooth. The basic Apothic Red, it's not not smooth, but there's a difference. Smooth, not as smooth. Don't confuse the two. So this Apothic Crush, I really like because it's another bottle that was $8.99. And it has some caramel and definitely a fruit, a fruity smooth finish. So it's a, it's a pretty bottle. I think because of the label, Apothic Crush, it could be kind of a good gift for, you know, your significant other. Or yourself, if you're single like me. My third cheap wine for wine on a budget this holiday season is the Apothic Dark. It is definitely darker in color. And the reason for that is because it's like a coffee dark chocolate wine. And you can definitely taste that in the wine. So this wine I really like because it definitely is the richest wine of the three that I'm showing you. So richest wine, still $8.99. Hold that thought, let me, let me confirm. I totally lied. These bottles are normally $10.99, but Target pretty much always has them on sale for under $10. So I'm gonna consider these $10 and under bottles of wine. Next up are two wines. <sighs> oh, that almost was really bad. Oh my God. Could have been real bad. I literally almost just dropped that whole bottle of wine. So the next two wines that are under $10 are by Cupcake Vineyards. And first off, I like Cupcake Vineyards because I like cupcakes. I also like wine. Cupcakes and wine. It's a great wine pairing. So Cupcake makes a very good, cheap wine. You can't argue. However, I do not think personally that Cupcake is as good as Apothic. 
I've really never had a bad apothic, but I've had kind of some bland, just bitter cupcake wines. But for the most part, wine drinking on a budget this holiday season, these two are not bad choices. The first bottle up for Cupcake Vineyards is the Cupcake Vineyards Red Velvet 2013 California Red Blend. This is a beautiful red wine with some chocolate, blackberry type fruit in it. Uh, it kind of reminds you of like a blackberry dark chocolate cupcake. Does that make sense? Totally read that off the bottle. The next wine that I'm gonna show you is definitely a little darker than this wine, um, but it, it's definitely really good. And they're, they're different wines. I mean, they really are. So that's why I bought six and not one. See what we're dealing with. The cupcake wines were $9.49. So they are a little more than the Apothic, but I think Apothic wins again for being just a better, cheaper wine. But the wines were also on sale. Otherwise, the Apothic does cost more than cupcake. And it should. One of the cupcake wines was $8.99. The other one was $9.49. Either way, both cupcake wines are under $10. Good, solid choice. Finally, my fifth cheap, affordable red wine for whining on a budget is a 2013 Cupcake Vineyards Black Forest Decadent Red. Solid. The label's kind of pretty too. It's kind of a darker label. This wine, like I said, has like that dark cherry versus like blackberry hints in it, notes, tones, however you wanna break that down. I think the label makes it look a little more expensive than the other one. So to me, if I was gonna go to a party and I had to decide, do I wanna bring this bottle or this bottle? I'm gonna be rolling with the Decadent Red just because I think the bottle has just a richer label to it and it looks a little more expensive because in all reality, no one likes cheap wine because that person has had really good wine before. Like this wine. These wines can't even, they can't even compare. Can't even stack up. Those are my five favorite red wines for the holiday season because Tis the season to be broke as hell. If you have a wine that you think is, you know, pretty solid, solid pick, comment below. I'd love to try it. I kind of stick with my same couple cheap wines because I know they're good. And that wraps up Vlogmas number one. I'm really not sure what's gonna come for the rest of them, but hopefully it will maybe be some Christmas stuff. Kona is getting very impatient. This is what she does when she gets all mad. Don't ever buy someone a pet as a gift. That is a stupid gift idea. And it also costs a lot more than $10. So please don't do it. But if you do decide to buy yourself a gift this holiday season, adopt and don't shop. Come on. So big. Whoa. All right, well, come on. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, Kona, she gets so mad. So this is Reese's. Oh, I got a big kissy on you. Um, he's my big man, and we want to remind you to adopt and don't shop because he's such a good boy. Reese, do you want to say hi to everyone? Hi, oh, you being shy and cute today? Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Can I guess it's... Oh, you don't want a mama to give you kisses? Oh, my big snuggle bug. My big snuggle bug. It's a good boy. Tony, you just don't snuggle like your brother. <laughs>